Yo, what's going on guys? This is TJ Pedro and I am back with another video and today JT Real Muto got traded to the Philadelphia Phillies Now Derek Jeter, I love the man helped my Yankees to like five chips But he has officially gotten rid of every single good player on that squad now I don't know, that just makes me laugh. He just got rid of every single good player on that squad. And now we got to see what he does next. But that's beside the point. The Phillies just acquired the best catcher in baseball right now. Best all-around catcher in baseball right now. For catching prospect Jorge Alfaro, two pitching prospects, and an international bonus slot. I'm not going to get into the international bonus slot today. That's a topic for another day. But Jorge Alfaro has a cannon of an arm. And he's a pretty good catcher. He's no JT Real Muto right now, but he has the potential to go up there. So I'm not saying this is a horrible trade for the Marlins. This is an okay trade for the Marlins. They give, uh, they give Alfaro a chance to develop, and depending on what the pitching prospects are, this trade could be a good trade for them. But let's look at the Phillies on this. If any Mets fans are watching, you might not want to hear this, because I've already said you guys would win the NL East, but this puts... The Phillies pretty close. This is going to be a tight race for the NL East. There's a chance Philly is number one in the NL East coming in this coming up season. Because JT Real Muto does a lot for your ball club. Alfaro is young. He makes mistakes. Real Muto is seasoned. He knows how to play. The Phillies just got a gem. And this could propel them to the top of the NL East. But I don't know. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. JT Real Muto. This trade with JT Real Muto is better than any trade that happened on NBA trade deadline. I'm just saying. Baseball is better. See y'all later.